Packing liquids might be the biggest hurdle when you're traveling with carry-on luggage only. There are a lot of questions like what liquids are allowed, if allowed, how much you can bring, what items counts as liquid, how you can bring your liquid medications, what about baby food and so on. So in this video, we'll be answering all the questions on packing liquids in only a carry-on. Also, I'll be showing how we pack our liquids. So let's get started. First, we'll talk about what is considered as a liquid. A liquid can be a traditional item like water or soda and any aerosols, gels, creams and paste. All drinks including uh, water, liquid or semi-liquid foods including soup, jam, honey, peanut butter, pickle and syrups. Cosmetics and toiletries including creams, lotions, oils, perfumes, mascara and liquid lipstick or uh, lip gloss. Sprays including shaving foam, hairspray, spray deodorants, paste including toothpaste, gels including hair and shower gel, contact lens solutions including other solutions and item of similar consistency. A good way to figure it out is to think about the item's consistency. A substance that's spreadable, smearable, sprayable or squirtable is considered as a liquid. The next question would be how much liquid is allowed in carry-on or hand luggage? There is a liquid rule called 311 rule which dictates how much liquid is allowed in your carry-on bags. 3 stands for each liquid must be in a 3.4 ounce or less container. 3.4 ounce is nothing but 100 ml. So each liquid you carry should be in a 100 ml or less than 100 ml container. Suppose if you have a 50 ml of liquid in 300 ml container, then it is not allowed. Both container and liquid should be 100 ml or less. 1 stands for all containers must be placed inside one clear quart size plastic bag. A quart is approximately 1 litre, so it should be a transparent and resealable plastic bag that is no more than 1 litre in capacity and 20 into 20 centimetre in size. Second one stands for only one plastic bag is allowed per passenger. So it's 3.4 ounce, one quart size bag and one bag per passenger. Also, make sure all items must fit in the bag comfortably so that it closes completely. And this rule only applies to carry-on and not check luggage. So all the liquids, gels and aerosols that are over 100 ml should be packed in your check luggage or left behind. Apart from high volume alcohol, there is actually no limit to the amount of liquid you can carry in your check luggage. So next going to the interesting part of the video, how to pack your liquids in carry-ons. As I told you earlier, it should be a clear plastic bag. You can use a normal Ziploc bag like these. Make sure it's quad size or if you need a more sturdy one, you can get yourself a TSA approved zippered pouch like this. I got this bag from Amazon. It also came with three silicone refillable travel bottles. I'll have the links in the description below. Coming to the liquids, you can either buy travel size bottles of your favorite products, check the size, make sure it's 100 ml or less, or you can also purchase travel friendly and refillable bottles like these. As I already told you, I got these silicone tubes with zippered pouch. These TSA friendly silicone bottles are soft, come with leak proof lip caps and have large openings that are easy to pour liquids into. And it allows you to easily squeeze out that last drop of liquid or cream. Along with these, I also got a couple of travel bottles from Miniso. I prefer having refillable bottles than uh, purchasing travel size products each time because there's less wasteful packaging to throw away and also it's easier to take the same products we use every day at home. So now I'm going to be showing you what we pack in our liquids bag. It's pretty much challenging to pack all your liquids in this little bag, especially if you have a lot of skincare and makeup stuff. So it's all about prioritizing. So make a list, prioritize what you really need and what you can cut down. If you have a travel partner who uses a very little in the way of liquid toiletries, a man perhaps, you can put a few extra things in their bag. My husband's uh, liquid bag holds uh, shampoo, conditioner, uh, toothpaste, face wash and sunscreen. I use this three silicone bottles for shampoo, conditioner and face wash which goes in Hasha's liquids bag along with toothpaste, sunscreen and his perfume. 
we won't be taking body wash because we use a soap bar that doesn't have to go into the liquids bag and i use this pump bottles to fill up my body lotion and hair serum this normal bottle for makeup remover and this jar for moisturizer apart from this i'll be packing roll on deodorant my foundation concealer color cream eyeliner mascara and liquid lipsticks normal lipsticks and solid lip balms like chapsticks don't have to go in liquids bag if you don't have your travel partner with whom you can share your liquids i recommend you to uh, buy more of these little jars where you can fill this up with foundations sunscreen etc so that you can uh, get more space for other liquids and about the water what you can do is you can just carry a empty bottle and after the security checkpoint you can fill it up with the water which is available in airport uh, instead of buying those overpriced water bottles also the water and beverages that you purchase after the security checkpoint are allowed on flight do you have to present your liquids bag at the security checkpoint yes you are supposed to present your liquids bag for examination at security checkpoint where you put your jacket cell phone keys and all so pack your liquids bag towards the top of your luggage or in an easy to access pocket so you can take it out quickly are there any exemptions yes there are few exemptions uh, certain items can exceed 100 ml and do not have to be packed in liquids bag items that are exempt from this rule includes prescription and over the counter medications you may carry your liquid medications even if it is more than 100 ml you may be asked for doctor's letter for certain medications breast milk baby formula baby food and baby juices are permitted in reasonable quantities water for making baby's formula is allowed too duty free liquid purchase may be carried as a hand luggage as long as the item and the receipt remain sealed in a tamper evident bag that is a security bag with a red border provided at the time of the purchase also the purchase should be made within the 48 hours if the seal is broken or any items are removed then it 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 may be subjected to liquid restrictions if you have any other questions please comment down below we'll be happy to answer thank you so much for watching if this video was helpful please don't forget to leave a like and share and if you're new here hi i'm sheetal dharmaraj from hashi pictures we make travel and self help related videos if this interests you please subscribe for more such videos